Hello there, World of Tankers. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully all of you are doing well out there. I'm, of course, your host, Adrudels Blitz, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand new video Wargaming has released just a couple hours ago on the tanks coming into the game, like the Amex 1390 Defender, the Type 58, and as well, a bunch of other things that are really cool. I'm actually happy Wargaming makes these new upcoming changes videos. However, unfortunately, they make them when I'm not always awake, so we're going to be breaking into this video as much as I can. So, of course, if you enjoyed today's video, Video, and you want to see more like it, more breaking down of news and leaks, please make sure to smash that subscribe button down below as I try to keep you guys on the newest and relevant information, at least coming out of Wargaming and my own brain. So let's get into this video and talk about the news and changes coming into the battlefield. Now, right off the bat, well, you're going to see this loading screen right here. I'm not sure if this is going to be the background screen for update 7.6 or update 7.7 because you see in the background that is an object 260, which is the tier 10 Russian heavy tank. Now that means that the Object 260 is either going to be in testing of Update 7.6 or it is going to be coming into the game, which is very exciting for me personally because as I've been saying for about two or three months now that I expected this tank to come into the game maybe four or five months from now. So it's actually in the background and they have shown it as a teaser here. So Object 260 we're probably going to be seeing testing around probably the next week or so, which is very, very exciting. And in the front, of course, we have the WZ-113. Looks like a new camouflage on the tank, but I don't think there's going to be a new legendary camo coming on the vehicle. Now, right here, we've got three big pieces of news just in six seconds. So, we got the AMX 1390 Defender setting on the rock, which is a brand new tier 8 auto loading auto loader. Yeah, kind of weird because we've already had the AMX 1390, which is an auto loader, and they turned what was an auto loader into an auto loader. Although the 1390 Defender is going to have four shells, which is pretty dang cool. Now we've got the Type 58 in the middle, which is the Chinese tier six, uh, kind of like the T3045 mock-up, which is going to be pretty cool. It looks really cool as it is. And with the little two nose holes at the bottom, it actually blows smoke out of them, which is awesome. So I think that the Type 58 Defender or whatever, not Defender, but whatever you want to call it, the Type 58 Lunar Tank looks really, really cool. And then of course, off to the right, we have the the Czechoslovakian medium, and that would most likely be the TVP T5051. So, yeah, pretty dang cool stuff. Now, the TVP T5051 is most likely coming in update 7.7. I don't think it's coming in 7.6. We also have a new battle pass, the Lunar Pass. I'm not sure what it's going to exactly be called, but as always, on stage 35, you'll most likely be unlocking the T3485, mock up the, uh, the Type 58, whatever you want to call it. It's probably going to be the Chinese version, so you're going to be expecting to see the this. This is such a sexy looking take in my personal opinion. It's got 3D styles coming all over it, and you can see the smoke pouring right out of the nose holes there. I do think that the tank looks fantastic, so I'm very, very excited to make my video on that battle pass. Now as well, just really quickly, because they went so quickly, there are a couple new camouflages as well coming into the game. I'll be breaking into these camos in a HD picture, so you can see a nicer view of them. So, new camos coming in as well for the battle pass, which are all Chinese themed. Very, very nice looking, and finally, we have have the AMX 1390 Defender. Now, I have to say, it's called the AMX 1390 Defender. Now, all 90 millimeters, to what I'm aware, in this game, deal 225 damage. All 105 millimeters deal 350. So, there's kind of like an average statistic going for you. But the thing is, is that this thing holds, you're going to see in just a second, four shells. Which makes me think, does it really do 225 damage with four shells? I can't believe that. Because four shells, 225 damage, right? And that's in 1.7 seconds. That means with three shells, it's going to take you about five seconds to clip out almost a thousand damage. Like, what? I, I just can't believe that this tank would deal a thousand damage in a matter of almost like four and a half seconds. It, it just doesn't sound right to me. So, if this thing does actually carry 225 alpha, this might be the most overpowered tier 8 to come into the game ever. So, we're going to have to see, but I don't think it will carry 225. I'm thinking maybe 190, kind of like the Defender Mark 1, or maybe a little bit less sitting at like maybe 160 just because it's got such a nasty clip. 1.7 seconds is really quick of course for a tier 8 autoloader and I honestly don't know what they're going to do and unfortunately Wargaming is not showing us here either as they're only showing them shooting low health opponents. Now we also have another lunar event coming in here. This is like one of the uh, the cheaper ones. We kind of had a TOG events 
summer tog where you could earn certificates and other stuff like that as well so nothing too special here just a nice way to get three days of premium you can get a nice avatar and other things like that so that is pretty dang cool and as all i can see camouflage is at the bottom you're able to earn so that would be part of the lunar event and of course this is for update 7.7 .7, the czechoslovakian medium tanks and as you can see you start off with the skoda t25 make your way on to the still not going to try and pronounce that the t34 100 which carries a 100 millimeter gun to what i'm aware very deadly then you get the tvp T VTU concept, the Skoda T50, and finally the TVP T5051. And this is kind of a side by side view of all of the vehicles. So, I'm very excited for all of these things to come into the game. And once again, we got that 260 sitting in the background. So, this is just a quick breakdown of everything you need to know. Now, as I said, I don't know anything about the Defender. I don't know what is good about it, what is bad. All I know is that it's going to be fast because it's a light tank, and that Wargaming did a little bit of a weird thing because, again, it's an autoloader that they made an autoloader. They normally don't do that. Usually, the Defenders have. Um, you know, they're like the Centurion, where they get a non-autoloading vehicle, and they turn it into an autoloader. Although, at the same time, we've got vehicles like the Centurion Mark I Defender, and does that tank carry a 90mm? That's what I'd like to know. Actually, we can take a quick look in Blitz currently, just to see if it does carry a 90mm, or if it's just me losing my mind. But, nonetheless, very excited either way for whatever it is coming into the game, because new tanks are new tanks. So, let's take a look. I swear that the Centurions don't carry a 90mm, but if they do, then you know what, I will say that it's possible it's dealing about 190 damage per shot, which wouldn't be too bad, but I still think that it would be very, very strong as it is. So let's get to, go take a look at the Defender Mark 1. It carries a 20-pounder, no clue what that is. Okay, that doesn't help me at all. Do we know what this carries? No, I, I have no clue what a 20-pounder is. I'm not sure if that's a 90mm, so I can't let you guys know anything on that. But I do know the T-3485 that does 190 average damage is an 85mm. So I think all 90s do 225 damage, which means that that might be dealing 225 damage with four shells. It'll just make the Lorraine 40T irrelevant. Yeah, please don't do that, Wargaming. But a lot of good things coming into the game so far. A lot of things I'm very excited for. And of course, we're going to break in to the camouflages now because that's what a lot of you uh, probably want to see. So let's get into the camos. I think the camos actually look great. So this is the first one. I have no clue what they're called, but you can see you've got like a little bit of a bull on that. It looks like a dragon, but honestly, it's got almost like a bull's head. So it looks very, very cool with the red and the yellow all over it. The second one we got is... I honestly looks like a tapestry almost. I'm not a huge fan of this one, but if you are into this type of camo, then definitely we'll be seeing it on your tank. Another odd looking one. Almost looks like a Dorito chip that is lit on fire. No clue 100% what it is. Maybe an ice cube. I don't know. It's, it's kind of weird looking. Ice with fire on the edges. I don't know. Another weird looking camouflage, but heck, it looks pretty cool. We've got this one. This one looks really cool. This is like a jade cloud thing. I don't, I have no clue what the names are. So yes, this is what I would be doing for Wargaming, making the names. This one's jade cloud, but yeah, looks very, very cool as it is. We got the, it's almost like armor. It looks like samurai armor or something like that. No clue again. Um, so very, very cool as it is, but this is for the Chinese New Year and China didn't have samurais. That's Japan. So uh, it looks like armor. That's all I can say. It looks like some sort of cool armor. And finally, we've got the, um, I'm going to call them brass circles. They look very cool again, golden circles. I actually really like the look of this camo. I might be putting this on some of my tier 10s. Let me know which one you think is your favorite in the comments down below, but all looking very, very good. Got to thank my moderator, Asen, for getting all of these camos so quickly because I don't even know how he does it half the time, but... This is the lunar event coming into World of Tanks Blitz. I was kind of spastic. As I said, I just woke up. So if I messed anything up, I'm very, very sorry. But hopefully we will be seeing more information and I'll be letting you guys know the stats of everything else like that of these tanks as they come into fruition on the game. So hopefully all of you are doing well out there. Of course, if you want to see more videos like this and you want to see more leaks and information, please make sure to clack that subscribe button. Clack, yes. Make sure to smack that subscribe button down below as it upset the channel a crazy amount. But other than that, hopefully all of you are doing well out there. Stay happy, stay healthy, and we'll be seeing you in the next one.